Hello, Hopkinton High School. I'm David Intaki, and this is HHS Today. Now we finally caught up with those who went on last year's China trip to find out what their experience was like. What made you want to go to China? Uh, I've always been interested in Chinese culture, and uh, the language was really, really fun, so I thought, you know, it would be a good chance, a good opportunity to study it in real life. One of the reasons I went to China was because I saw the opportunity to apply what I'd learned in the classroom in a real world experience. I thought it would be a really good opportunity to experience a new culture and see how uh, a different part of the world lived. What was your favorite part of the China trip? Definitely the shopping in Shanghai. Uh, there was everything you could possibly think of was there. Ni hao! Going to the Great Wall and seeing all the different people and how they wanted to all take pictures with us because some of them had never seen an American before. When my host family took me to a hot pot restaurant and try all these uh, local foods. Uh, my homestay was really fun. Probably the favorite thing that I did with them was uh, I went to the movies and the first night I was there. We watched The Jungle Book. My favorite part of China was going to the Great Wall and being able to uh, climb it with my friends. And I also really like the homestay. It's really cool to see different cultures and different people. When I was in China, my favorite thing was haggling. I love haggling. Did you learn anything new about Chinese culture while you were there? Yes and no. I did, but it wasn't different than I expected. I expected a lot of um, like cultural shock, but I didn't expect it to be as broad as it was. We were celebrities. What I learned in China is the importance of exposing yourself to different cultures and traveling. When we were speaking Chinese, it was really a surprise to a lot of people. We would say something in Chinese and people would be, wow, you, you speak Chinese? And a lot of people couldn't believe that. And to see people's reactions, to see their faces light up when you were trying to speak their language, it was just such a warm, such a great feeling. And we're all dying to know, did you see any pandas? I did not, but I did see cat and dog being served as a main dish, which I did not partake in. I wish I did, but I didn't, unfortunately. On some of the signs, no, not a live panda. Unfortunately, no. No. Did you? <laughs> we did, in fact, not see any pandas, but we did learn lots. Now for question of the day. This week's question was, if you could see something invented before you die, what would it be? A cure for Alzheimer's. Um, I think you should go to the Be Free Handball Tournament Tuesday the 15th, 6 p.m. the AC. Sign up. Totes my goats, time travel. Um, chocolate ice cream with cookie dough pieces in it. That exists. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> um, something to stop time. Animals speak English. <laughs> Genetic modification. Touchable, Touchable holograms. holograms. Um, a machine that turns water into food. And clouding in the chance of meatballs. Cure for cancer. An electric four-wheel drive truck. Flying cars. A flying car. Flying <laughs> car! <laughs> awesome answer, guys. I would like to see us invent us going to Mars, if that's even an invention. According to Mr. Elon Musk, we should be there by 2023, so I hope to see all of you there. Now, let's move on to Have You Seen This? Last week's photo was on the I Will bulletin board just outside the library thanks to all those who found it. The winners, which will be three of you, are, drum roll please, or not, we have Lauren Ness, Joseph Barnes, and Nolan Kelly. Congratulations, guys. Pick up your bottles of candy at Miss Moothart's desk in the main office. Now for this week's photo. Have you seen this? If you have, email us at hhstv at hillers.org or Snapchat us at HHSTV Snaps. All right, that's it for this week, folks. Have a great long weekend. I'm David Paul Antaki, signing off. I don't have my pen.